great job, guys. Uh, the sweet sound of steel pan could only mean one thing. It's carnival here on St. Thomas, and the Department of Education has a whole lot in store for you. Welcome to Hall Pass, everybody, the show that brings you up close and personal with the amazing and talented students of the Virgin Islands. I'm your host, Cynthia Graham. You just heard from the Muller Elementary Panatics, and you'll hear much more music from them a little later in the show, and you'll get to learn about the group and the students involved. On today's show, we're also going to get the scoop on everything the Department of Education has in store for this year's Children's Parade on St. Thomas. And if it's anything like it was on St. Croix back in January, you're in for a treat. I'll be talking with Dion Donadell, the Department's Territorial Director of Music, who is also heading up the planning for Carnival for Schools in the St. Thomas St. John District. But now, let's go back to the Panatics for more great music, and they'll be uh, playing I'll Be Okay by Rupi. Take it away, guys. Excellent job, guys. Wonderful. Well, welcome to the show. And I have with me here, Ash just wave when, when I say your name, Ashante Camacho, Giovanni Hodge, Annalise Morsiglio, and Gabriel Simon. Excellent. So tell me, how long have you been playing steel pan? I've been playing steel pan for three years. Yeah. 
And what instrument do you play? Double tenors. What about you? I've been playing steel pan for three years and I played the pan named tenor. Now tell me, what, um, what is your favorite part about learning the steel pan and playing steel pan? My favorite part is to make my mommy proud and my father proud. Oh, that's wonderful. I like that. Now what about you? How long have you been playing steel pan and what instrument do you play? I've been playing steel pan for four years and I play double seconds. Great. And what are you learning in steel pan? I'm learning how to be better at playing music and I'm learning other stuff like how to hold the sticks properly. Oh, that's wonderful. And lastly, tell me how long you've been playing steel pan and what um, instrument you play. And I play the double guitar. The double guitar, that sounds like a big job. And what do you like most about the double guitar? I like playing it. I like that answer. Great job. Now, let's get Miss um, Wenner. Miss Wenner, let's get you in here to talk about this beautiful group of young people. Let's welcome you to the show. Um, Miss Wenner is the coordinator. Francis Wenner is the coordinator for the Panatics. And um, if you could just give us a little bit of history about the group. And I understand this year they will be featured very prominently in the Children's Parade. Yes, we have. We have been, um, the has been started in 1999 by Jan Hodge and the previous administration for the school. They wanted to continue the, the culture of steel band in the schools. Mm -hmm. So he gave five years of his time, got the steel band going from 1999. We uh, recruit the kids from third grade okay. and fourth grade so that we can have them for three to four years. They Is have that the length, length of time it takes to really learn the pan? No, it's just that they'll be third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and okay. then they move on. Okay. So every year we take a, we get a fresh set of kids third and grade. we train them. They're usually by January, by December, they're ready to go. Oh, they can learn okay. a song like in two days. Right. So they're ready to go. So we focus on one set of music before Jan uh, December, mm -hmm. and then we get into the carnival mode. Yeah. Um, we have this year we only have 31, but we usually have anywhere from 45 to 50 members. Oh, really? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Our band is very big. Yeah. Um, we have a, our current instructor, arranger, director, Sean Steele. Yes, he's been I'm with us. Bring Mr. Steele in he's shortly. been with us yes. since 2004. Okay. And Ms. Feja Lima, she has been assisting us for the last two years, but she was also a former parent because okay. all her kids went through the Muller Steel Band. Great. Now, so this year they are going to be the Grand Marshals yes, of the Yes, we Children's were told Parade? of the great big event that okay. we are the Grand Marshals. Yeah. Now, what exactly does the Grand Marshal do? What is that? It seems to be a prominent... Is that with them opening the parade? Is that yes. how that works? Yes. We're mm -hmm. like... Usually they do individuals. I think yeah. this is the first year they're going to be doing groups. Okay. So uh, we will be at the beginning. I don't know how far back from the majorette, so I, but they're usually like the first or second right. and representing the entire parade. And we are very proud of the, the fact that they chose the fanatics to do that. Yeah, and this, I mean, from what I'm hearing, and I've heard them before, I think it's a well-deserved honor. Do you guys agree? Yes. yes. Great. Now, Mr. Um, Sean Steele, he is instructor director and arranger, arranger for mm -hmm. the group. So um, what, are, what are the students learning? What are you teaching them about steel pan? Well, I teach them the culture, the hi a, 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 little, a little bit of the history. Okay. Um, and after that, it's just about um, playing skills, some, some scales, knowing the notes on the pans, and then we just do a repertoire song. We teach them that um, the instrument was invented in Trinidad. Right. And we let them know the, the, the basically the time frame around when it was invented. Um, we let them know a brief history of the different steel bands here in the Virgin Islands, you know. Um, and that's pretty much not too, not too in-depth, you know. Right, right, yeah. just to get them going. Right. And so for someone like me, who have always loved the steel pan, but just don't know how to play it, what would be like the first thing a new third grader coming into the class would learn about um, you know, navigating the steel pan. Well, you'd want them to know um, how to hang the pan. Handle the pan? Yeah, how to handle the pan, yeah. how to hang it on the stands, okay. how to hold your sticks, mm -hmm. things like that. Okay, great. And then we'll get into the, you know, 
knowing the notes in the pan, yeah. you know, scales, and then we go into music. And it's all done by ear. It's all done by ear. Oh, that's yeah, a good no, point. There's, there's no, no sheet, sheet music. music. No. Yeah. So you yourself, you must have been in steel pan for a long time <laughs> to yes. now pass it on to the right. um, younger generation. Yes. Yeah, it must feel good to see your work yes. being manifested. Very much so. Yes. Well, great job. We can't wait to see you guys again um, coming up on um, the 28th. That's right. Uh, yeah. April 28th? No, we will be on the waterfront on okay. April 23rd for the new version of Panorama. They have now gotten from the Lionel Roberts Stadium. We will be on the waterfront in different sections, okay. playing during the activities that are on the waterfront. Okay. So we'll do that maybe from like 12 to 1 or 2 o'clock. The different bands will perform in the afternoon. And then at the parade on the children's parade. We only do the children's parade. Right. And that's right. 28th, Friday the 28th. The, that's when we want the folks 28th. to be out there right. to come support all of our students and certainly to see this wonderful group of young people, the Muller Fanatics. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. I'd like to now welcome Ms. Dion Donadell to the show, and she's no stranger to any of us. Welcome, Ms. Donadell. Come on over here. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Great. Glad to have you on today to talk Glad about to Carnival and what the Department of Education is doing for this season's Carnival. First of all, um, learning, fetting, and fun for, for the centennial celebration. Yes. Did I get that right? That is correct. That's the department's theme right. for this year's Carnival. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the theme and then tell me about what's in store for the community for Carnival Children's Parade. Well, we are in the midst of our 100th year celebration, so we, we always have to give praise to that. And um, we have the 65th, but with the Department of Education, we want to promote well-rounded students. So we're doing learning, we're fetting, because mm -hmm. it's carnival, mm -hmm. and they're going to have fun. And we're doing it for the centennial celebration. So that's how we came up in a big board meeting. We just did it. It was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay. Um, what you can expect is one of the biggest troops in a long time. Uh, the commissioner p is pushing, bringing back the children's parade to be stronger than ever on every island. Right. So just like we did St. Croix Festival, we're now St. Thomas Carnival, and then, of course, in July, you can look forward to that festival as well. Uh, this year, for the 65th, we're doing a very enormous troupe with different sections. Now, I heard, not to cut you off, Ms. D, I'm, I'm going to let you get right into it. We have all kinds of floats, is that correct? Mm -hmm. We have fo a float, and a large-scale made in-house, yes. constructed locally. Yes. We have floats from agriculture, is mm -hmm. that correct? That we have correct. sports, we mm -hmm. have music. Mm -hmm. I think I'm missing a couple, but tell us about we what's have, <laughs> coming, I, you know. Well, we, we, we don't want to give away everything. Right, Because right. we want them to come out and yes. see the parade. So we have at least eight sections, I'm thinking, as of right now. It may be even more than that, but we definitely have the two marching bands coming from St. Croix. Yes. Uh, St. Croix Educational Complex and St. Croix Central High School. We have the agricultural float, the sports float. There's a, two bigger floats in there that I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> okay. And we also will be having EBO, Steel Owls. Okay. So just like the Alamala. So Alamala will be up in front bringing up the parade, but EBO will be with us in the parade in that section. And then we still have some quadrille. All the stuff you saw in St. Croix, we're going to have and then some more. And that's our goal, to keep adding on each time. Right. Now, I love what you said um, that with the, um, the high school bands coming over from St. Croix. Right. It's a beautiful show, I think, of unity mm -hmm. and, um, you know, uh, unity among the two districts. Just talk a little bit about that because that was a beautiful show in St. Croix um, earlier in the year. So just tell us about, you know, the bands and the different schools coming over and joining in the celebration. Well, one of the things we wanted to always promote, like you said, is unity. And before when we had Battle of the Bands, it was always a good, place, a good place to showcase what the marching bands are doing unless they go away to compete. So now when we did St. Croix, we did uh, CAHS and Ivani Durkin High School, and we took them over to St. Croix. We had them do separate entities, but at the same time they combined. So you can expect the same thing from the two St. Croix high schools marching bands. So they're going to do their own thing within the department, but at the same time, they're going to combine. That is our goal. Now, St. John's will be the one where we have all four come together. Oh. That'll take some more time, so okay. we'll, we'll get into that later. But <laughs> yeah. um, that's something that we're just trying to promote constantly, um, that we need our, our children to remember that we all the same. We all are Virgin Islands, one territory. 
Right, one Virgin Islands. I think it's beautiful. And um, another aspect, I believe, and I, I hope I'm not totally giving it away, we did have a little character named Squeaky mm -hmm. on St. Croix. We're going to see Squeaky again mm -hmm. in all of his glory. Yes. But tell us about Squeaky. You know about Squeaky? I, I know enough about Squeaky yeah. to know we, we're trying to do the right thing by <laughs> keeping our islands clean, getting rid of those yeah. plastic bags. Yeah. Education will be handing out some different things. Yes. So make sure you're there to get them. The only way you could get them is if you come to Children's Parade. Correct. So, um, uh, we're just trying to keep the environment clean. So we're making our, our students and our community aware mm -hmm. of the things that we need to do together. Yes. And um, other things that you're going to see, the, the puppet, we still have the Governor's Summer Reading Challenge people in there. Mm -hmm. Literacy is going to be pushing. We're trying to get the community on board with making sure we are all literate. We need to make sure we're reading constantly every day. So I don't want to give away anymore. But, yeah. but uh, you're going to see everything in the Department of Education exposed. We're trying to do a little There's the music. There's the art. There's some steam stuff. There's agriculture, because you know we've been pushing that. So we're going to try to present a little bit of everything the Department of Education has to offer. Now this is a massive undertaking. Yes. How how are you making it happen? You have staff. <laughs> um, Obviously, you're working with all the schools. Mm -hmm. About how many students are participating? Is, is in this, it all our in this sec well, we try to get a little bit of every all the schools. So yeah. we have some from St. Croix coming. Yeah. Um, and we still have the locals. And the elementary has their own section within the Department of Education's troop. So we're looking at over 700 kids. And hopefully, it works out the way it's supposed to. Now, I am so not doing this by myself. And I'm not going to call any names because then you forget somebody. But right. It's an entire team effort. I'm just really making sure that you know this and I, you know that, and that's it. Let's make sure it, it comes over the right way. Yeah. That's it. But it's a lot of members that's working through the Department of Education. And this is beautiful because um, it's, it's all about the culture and preserving mm -hmm. the culture and, and parade and carnival and the, 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 you know, the steel pan. We just heard a beautiful rendition from our students. All of these things are aspects of the culture and being showcased year after year and, mm -hmm. on, and this year on an even grander scale. Mm -hmm. So talk about the culture of, um, and why it's important for our students to participate in this, in th these kinds of activities. Well, the only way culture can survive is we, we, we just keep bringing it back to each other. We have to be tradition bearers in our own. We have to make sure our children, our, our youths know that this is what's happening. This is why it happened. You have to know where you came from to know where you're going. So we all know what it, it has to be done but we need to really say we're going to put our foot forward and do it. So the commissioner is pushing this to say we are promoting our well-rounded students, not just academics, not just extracurricular activities, but also the culture, because that makes you you, and that's what makes our Virgin Islands and our people unique. Now, Ms. Donadell, is there anything you want the community to know about that we may have not touched on, or just reiterate, about coming out and supporting the Children's Parade? I know last year um they made a i think they made some changes in terms mm -hmm. of when the parade would fall and when other activities would well, fall the the parade stayed the same uh what uh, i'll commend the horse race commission for they switched from friday afternoon uh early friday afternoon to now it's thursday after juve which my thing is that that's a beautiful thing they're, they are making an effort so now it's for the parents and the community to show their part and come out and just support the children in the parade they're putting on a show these the majorettes the steel pan goose have been practicing for a long time, the small troops, and there's so many things that you go, but what's the point of doing it if you're not gonna show off to who you, you know, your parents, your family members, the visitors, we wanna be able to show off. So please come and support our kids for that children's parade and the adult parade. Excellent, and so that, for the children's parade, that's um, uh, April 28th. Yes, Friday. <laughs> Downtown Charlotte, Amali. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I have enjoyed my talk with uh, the beautiful students of the Muller Fanatics and also with Ms. Donadell. Uh, we're looking forward to the Children's Parade. Be sure to be there on April 28th to support our students. I am Cynthia Graham, and this has been Hall Pass, and now we will close out the show with the Fanatics. <laughs>